Hello and thanks for clicking on this video and visiting our channel. My name is Aaron and this video is going to be about how to navigate this Magic ETL data flow window. There's an awful lot that can be done in Magic ETL and while Domo may be a very technical platform in places, here it is much simpler and more intuitive to use. So I'm going to go over the different menu options, what they do, very, very, very quick summary for each tile as well. So input data sets and output data sets are pretty self-explanatory. What are we putting in and what are we getting out? Add constants can be useful for adding in new columns with values. Calculators can be used to produce quick calculations. Collapse columns can be used for turning columns into rows values and these are pretty pretty complex but uh, are, can be very very effective. This is for pivoting usage and same thing here with uncollapsed columns. We can use a wide variety of different date operation features as well as aggregations. We can use rank and window functions on our data to have a better understanding of within groupings of data and different layers of that data, how do we want to perform certain mathematical functions. We can rename different columns which can be of great value especially when we're getting into more complicated data flows. This can be used to better identify what columns are specifically needed as well as where they come from. We can transform the column types. This is extremely valuable when we run into situations in which data types need to be brought into alignment in order to bring them together. And there are a couple of other columns that aren't used too frequently, but one thing I will say is that if you have any questions about any of these, you can easily drag them into the, uh, this window here and click on this little question mark to go to the help articles that exist for them. This can be a really powerful way to learn very, very quickly uh, what these different tiles do. There's also a button here that allows us to duplicate tiles. This can be really useful when you're doing the same action over and over again. And you can also use the delete button or click the delete button on your keyboard. So that covers the edit column section. The edit data section is also very useful. We can filter data. We can use uh, remove duplicates function if we're dealing with duplications that we want to remove. Replace text can be used to replace values that might be bringing errors into our data flows or perhaps we want to change the way certain information is represented. Maybe instead of having a number represent something, we want to change that number to a valuable string or word or series of words for us to understand what it means. We can use string operations to perform very powerful transformations on the data itself, as well as changing the way that the text is actually used. This value mapper tile right here is very similar to a case statement. It allows us to identify uh, a value and based on conditions set it to another. This can be particularly powerful but has some limitations in its current state. This will more than likely be updated in the future but there are other places that are much better for getting to case statements and conditional statements within Domo. Lastly we have the combined data. We have append rows and joining data. So append rows is a union. It's adding rows upon rows upon rows and join data is adding columns upon columns. Okay, and there'll be some descriptions when you bring these tiles in on what each one does. Certainly recommend playing with them. So that covers these windows and the most basic Magic ETL functions that exist. You may see some more in your instance. There are data set uh, options that work with uh, data science as well as uh, different uh, optimization of data flows. But in this instance, we're going to just focus on, on, uh, on these four options here. So we can run a preview to test our data, and this is useful because it allows us to ensure that all of our data is configured properly. When you're first getting started, this is an extremely valuable checklist just to make sure you're not missing anything. The preview can ensure that we're connected and configured correctly, so feel free to try it out. You can also set the rows that it will use. Keep in mind that it's only going to take a sample of the data. It's not going to run all of it. This is just a preview after all. If your data flow is getting quite large, you can zoom out if you want to look at the whole thing. 
So that's valuable. Another very, very important thing to keep in mind is this button right here, settings. Now what this does is this controls the automation of a data flow. That is to say, when do you want it to run? Do you want this data flow to run when you run it? Do you want it to update at a specific time? You want it to run at a, you know, say eight o'clock in the morning before everyone uh, sits down for their morning meeting? Do you want to set it to update when data sets are updated to ensure the most up-to-date information? So you might say, okay, when this data set updates or when this data set updates or when they both update, I want you to run this. That's very important. This question mark allows us to go to overarching uh, articles on how to use Magic ETL effectively. And I highly recommend checking out Domo's Help Center and their knowledge base. It's been consolidated and become an extremely valuable resource. I even reference it pretty often. So, and then uh, the other thing that we want to keep in mind here is that there's a lot of submenus for uh, different data sets and different, um, different tiles as well. So keep in mind that some of this might change, but my advice is start simply, play around with these tiles, reference these articles, and take a look at your data sets. See what, what the effect and outcome is. I would also recommend checking out the other videos that explain how aggregations work, as well as uh, other videos that we'll be putting out to explain how to use these tiles effectively. If you have any questions or would like to see any other videos on how to use these tiles properly, please feel free to comment below. Thanks so much. Bye.